Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a professional flat felt seam and we're going to do it with the aid of some washable clear school glue. So it's important that it's school glue because it's water based. What that means is once you've glued everything together and you throw it in the washing machine after you've sewed it up, uh, the glue will come wash right out. So, okay. I've got two pieces of scrap here of denim. This has a 1% lacquer in it, so it's got a little bit of stretch to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this seam, fold it this way, and we're going to take this seam and fold it this way. And then they're going to interlock like so. So what we'll do is we're going to use quarter inch seams. So I'm just going to eyeball it. It's a fairly small seam. Doesn't take much. Okay, we just need a good crease line there for an alignment mark, basically, is what we're looking for on this. Okay, we have that one. Now this one has to go the opposite way. So we're going to turn it over this way. Fold it under. And again, quarter inch seam is all we need. One of the things you can do if you want to, it's kind of important for these seams to be straight that are seen on the outside. So if you want to, you can come down through here with one of these seam guides and use it as a straight edge. That will give you a good straight edge because it's going to be seen on the uh, outside. So line it up. then press it down so your cut line may be a little bit wobbly but hopefully your straight edge will be there and I can see by doing that this isn't cut on green but anyway this is going to be a test so okay what we're going to do now we're going to roll this over so both of our seams are facing that way and we're going to apply our glue along this folded edge here so we're going to take our Elmer's glue open it up and I just kind of go back and forth I want some in the fold to hold the fold open it up a little bit more anyway so I get some down in the fold and then I come back out a little bit so I'm not trying to get it all the way out the full quarter of an inch but I want it Probably about three-fourths of that because I want to be able to hold this fabric down while I do this seam. And you can see I'm fairly liberal with the glue. I'm not too much concerned about it because it's going to wash out. But I want to get enough in there where it will hold everything together nicely. So you'll see it kind of absorb down into parts of the fabric. When you see that, just apply a little bit more glue. Okay, now we're going to take this cut edge and put it in the fold line. So now this stuff kind of sticks together, so... Especially with those cut edges out there. Come on, fold over. You want to get it just right up next to the fold edge. Don't stretch it. I kind of pull it to get it tight and then I'm releasing it back. So just keep laying it along the fold line. Now I'll 
I'll kind of stretch it to make it all lay flat. But I'm grabbing a hold of both pieces and stretching them at the same time. So now we've got it in there. We're able to fold our other seam over. So let's go ahead and do that. And we're going to hit it with an iron. This will help the glue dry up. And I just come back with a clapper and kind of apply some pressure to it. Okay, now we need to glue this seam in place so it will stay in place. So just take our glue again, bring it down through here. Kind of mash it down. Now we're going to take the iron again. Now we pull our seam over. Press it down nice and flat. And then we're going to hit it with the iron. And you can use a pressing cloth if you need to on your finished garment so you don't get that shiny jeans edge. I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a, just a little bit of steam to set that seam nicely. And one of the things I'm noticing here, I've got a little bit of a variation on the width. That's where it's important to use, take more time than I did to keep this edge straight when you're coming down through here and even because it's gonna reflect on the outside of your jeans. It's gonna get a little bit uneven and get a little bit wonky. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pull this over, press it. See if I can get it just a little bit more even. That seemed to have done the trick. One more press. And I'm going to double check my end down here and make sure it is glued down. These ends are really important that they stay glued down. Okay, we'll dry it out. All right, now what I do, I walk away from it for a little while and I let it set. So let's let this just set, let it cool, and it only takes a few minutes. And when you come back, it should be stiff. So it's almost like putting starch in the seam. So anyway, let's do that and I'll meet you over at the sewing machine. Okay, we're at the machine. Now one of the things I did off camera is on the inside here, this flap was loose, so I went ahead and glued it down also. So you'll see our seam now on this side and on this side. Okay, so we're going to end up sewing down this seam here on the wrong side. We want our stitches on this side to look good. Uh, they're not going to be perfect, but they're going to be close enough to where when people see them, they're not going to be able to really tell that big of a difference. I've got a piece of scrap fabric here that I cut, folded in half, and then folded the sides in. So it gives me four layers, which is pretty much what I'm going through on this. So uh, same fabric, just a piece of scrap. And I'm going to do a test here and have a look at my stitching 
and usually on this side I need to loosen my tension just a bit so Okay, I see my top side and I see my bottom side. I'm going to loosen it just about a half turn on my machine. Okay, there's my top side, there's my bottom side, and that looks good. So I'm going to leave it right there. So. I'll be happy with that on the other side. I just want to make sure it's not so loose that it's moving around and it looks good. So, Okay, so once you get that done, what we're going to do, I've got a quarter inch foot on my machine and the inside of the toe, let me get another foot here, as I'm sewing down this, I'm going to match this inside of the seam with the inside of the toe and it's just going to be not right on the very edge but I'm going to use the inside as a mark to get me in. I need to come in about a sixteenth of an inch is what the goal is here. So you've got a compensating foot that's a sixteenth inch foot it'll be perfect for this. But if you've only got a quarter inch foot uh, you can do this. The other option is to use a blind hem foot. Put your plastic edge there. Position your needle. That will work. Uh, but this is a straight stitch machine, so I can't use a blind hem foot on it. I guess I could. I just don't own one for this machine. <laughs> All right, so let me get my mark aligned here. That looks about right, right there. get lined up here and go straight as I can. And I'm kind of pulling that seam tight, not overly tightening it. I'm just keeping it nice and tight. Keep everything flat. keep that end locked down tight. It tends to want to move around on you. Okay, there's one side of our seam. And it actually looks like I could have tightened my tension just a tad. So that's something you're really going to want to test. And I do uh, get it adjusted and then do a full length one. So probably could have been just a, a tad bit tighter. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up a bit for my next seam. Which is going to be my top stitching seam. Okay, I'm going to do this side on the front side the same way I did the other side, using the same alignment mark, which is about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, you can see this is a little bit tighter than that. So again, I should have tight, tightened the bobbin tension a bit. So, uh, But let me go give it a press real quick and we'll have a look at it. So I'll meet you back here in just a second. Okay, got it all pressed now. Let's have a look at it. Picked up everything off my ironing board that's laying over there scrap-wise. Okay, 
This is the bobbin tension that I was talking about. You can see it's a little bit loose. I'd cut a piece about this size and do a test. Then you can notate what you used on your, um, your tension on the top side when you're sewing on this side to get the best look on the previous side on the right side. So anyway, if this were my test, I'd notate where I was here, make it just a little bit tighter is all I need, and it'll lock it down the way my top stitching was. So if you look at this, we used a quarter inch on our uh, flat felt seam, so we folded each side over a quarter of an inch, and then we sewed just on the inside here and on the edge of this one on the inside. So you see where we are there. So we're eh, about a needle's width away roughly. And if you look at our stitch width, we're at exactly 3 8 which is what we have on our retail jeans. So that will give you the look that people are seeing on the retail jeans. If you go to a half inch, this stitch is going to be out here. Let's see what the half inch one looks like. That's how much wider your stitch is going to be, all the way out to there. Let me get this back. So it's going to look a little bit different. It's going to be a lot wider. So try the quarter inch fold over and then come along the edge of each one of these seams fairly close to the edge. And the ideal is an eighth of an inch away from the edge on each side. And that will give you the perfect three eighths inch seam. So anyway, that shows you how to glue it together. And uh, if that were the uh, inside leg seam on a pair of pants, uh, I'd, I'd be happy with that. Uh, the only thing I look at is the tension on that. If I corrected that, it would be good. So give that a try. See if it works out for you. Again, the Elmer's School Glue. It's water-based. It'll wash out. And this is fairly... Yeah, it's kind of like it's been starched right now, but if I throw it in the washer, which I've done, I've made jeans like this. Once it comes out, you can't even tell the glue was used. So give that a try. Let me know if you have any questions. That's it for now. Take care, guys.